Hello friends! Back for another potato reveal. Welcome to Grandmother's Garden. This is another 18 gallon rubber type tub that I planted two seed potatoes in last spring, end of April. Variety name is Russet Burbank. It's a common potato. Uh, it's supposed to make fairly large white tubers. But we'll see what we got. It's always a surprise. Let's dump this out. We had a big storm come through the other day. Dumped a lot of rain. So everything is wet and heavy. Looks like we have some potatoes though. So where to start? I guess right in the middle. Whoa, wow, oh my goodness, wow. I guess they're right about uh, big potatoes. We have some earthworms too. I have a bucket off to the side for them. And we'll just start seeing what we got. Oh, here we go. Isn't he cute? <laughs> a two-headed whatever. Oh, long. Looks like almost two potatoes, but it's really just one. Here's another one just like it. I think they kind of grew around each other. Otherwise, I really can't tell. Big cluster of potatoes here. You can see how they grow on these specialized roots called stolons. They come off of the main branch. So every potato you find in a store will have come from something like that. A few little ones, but not too many. This, these are going to be interesting to peel. I think I may just scrub those and bake them and cook them with the skins on. Since they're organically grown, the skins are perfectly okay. They're not sprayed with any chemicals to keep them from sprouting. We have a lot of... Uh, Hmm, interesting little animals here. <laughs> you see that okay? All right. If my granddaughter was here, she would appreciate those. We'd have a great laugh over them. That's kind of weird. Wow, looks like we're going to get a lot of them like that. Oh, another earthworm. You can see how they grow. Now each seed potato, certified seed potato, certified means they're just free of diseases, the common potato diseases. We'll send up several of these root systems. From each sprout will come another one. So that's why the number of stems on the top that you get is not really indicative of how many seed potatoes you planted. Just depends upon the number of sprouts. That looks kind of like a moose. What do you think? <laughs> well, this is a fun one to harvest. I will say that. Even though it's really wet. Wow. These are big potatoes. I'm really impressed. I'll have to let you know how they taste. The rest of Burbank's from the store may not be as tasty as homegrown organic ones but I'm biased what can I tell you let's make my way in here the soil's pretty deep from these 18 gallon tubs actually I do prefer growing in smaller containers and I'm beginning to see that per seed potato, you actually get a better yield from the smaller containers, like the eight gallon tubs that I did earlier in the season that you can find reveals of. Come on, little wormy. You can find reveals about the uh, eight gallon tubs in my earlier videos on Grandmother's Garden. Lots of worms. They get in through the drainage holes 
and that's fine. They're in there to fertilize the soil, break things up so the roots can penetrate easily. This soil is a combination of ordinary potting mix and compost. This is like buried treasure, isn't it? Doing quite a few already. I think I'm already through most of it though. Break it up, make sure I didn't miss any. I think I did pretty well. That is quite a harvest already there. So if I get any more, it's a bonus. I don't expect to. I think I was pretty thorough. It's funny, sometimes you can see things on camera that I can't see from my vantage point. And you say, oh, she missed one. Or, oh, there's a worm. <laughs> it happens. After the video is over, we scoop the dirt out of this garden cart, wheelbarrow, whatever you want to call it. And we put it back in the tub to dry out. And it dries all winter long in our garden shed. And then in the spring, I'll use that the same soil for a different kind of pot or maybe in the garden or a planter. I'll plant a different crop from uh, potatoes in it. Hopefully not a root crop, but something totally different. But there you have it. Wow, that's amazing. These will make some interesting bakers. See it okay? All right, I'm gonna bring this over to the side and wash them off and see what they look like in full living color. <sighs> Heavy work. Wow. Those are beautiful. <laughs> kind of kooky shape. You probably won't see shapes like this at the grocery store because the uh, growers, commercial growers, would probably just throw those away or donate them to charity. I'm not sure what they do with their excess. But they wouldn't consider those commercially viable. Yeah, for our worm harvest, we didn't get a lot of them, but there are a few in there. You see them in there? Great. Okay, happy gardening to you. These worms will find a home in one of my main garden beds where I'm sure they'll be very happy. You can focus on the potatoes again one more time. We're going to enjoy these. I'll let you know how much they weigh. Right now, I can't hazard a guess. Well, I'm thinking seven pounds, maybe. That's my best guess for now. Uh, we do a net weight. I weigh the colander first, which is a big stainless steel colander, so it by itself weighs three pounds. And then uh, you get the net weight in my notes. Thanks for watching. You take care. Happy gardening.